what's going on TGN my name is SelfServe and today I have some Disc Priest PvP uh, action for you guys this is gonna be a game that me and my buddy played as Disc Priest Frost or sorry Disc Priest Sub Rogue against a Frost Mage Sub Rogue on the Ring of Valor and the opposing team is actually uh, both of them are gladiators so um, if you guys don't know what a gladiator is it's when you place in the top 0.5 of your arena teams uh, in the battle group so you can get this in 3v3 and 5v5 I uh, used to be able to get in 2v2, but they stopped that a while back. So basically, uh, the opposing team, they're both skilled players, and me and my buddy actually play this one uh, pretty well. Both teams make mistakes, but uh, who doesn't? So I'm going to do this breakdown style, so the video is going to be paused. That's not your video lagging. I know some people in the uh, uh, comments of my last breakdown thought that it was, but uh, no, I'm just pausing it, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so out of the gates, um, what I want to try and do is get the Rogue in Comet so I can't get sapped, and then from there I can toss a few to spells on the mage. So what I'm doing is running in right here, just putting a bubble on myself, putting a bubble on Nexar. Try to go for the MD, but I get sapped before that happens. So uh, I'm going to pause it right here. The Rogue's going to open on me with a Groat, and my uh, partner's going to open on the mage with a Cheap Shot and gouge him so he can't blink out. But the reason why I wanted to pause it here is because... Uh, in a sec, you're gonna when the video resumes, you're gonna see that I'm gonna start kiting the rogue. Uh, he put a groat up on me, but he didn't get a shiv off in time, so therefore I'm free to move. This is gonna cause him to uh, switch my partner because he doesn't want to waste time chasing me. So he's gonna redirect his five combo points and put my rogue into a kidney shot. So you can see here the rogue's gonna get off me, head back to my partner, redirect those points, and he's gonna get kidneyed with a smoke bomb over him. The rogue isn't popping shadow dance or any other major cooldowns, so my rogue's gonna, you know, take some damage, but not enough to make me uh, panic. Here I stop my penance because I see an incoming polymorph, and I death it, which breaks the polymorph. If you saw that. All right, so I'm gonna pause it again uh, right here to just talk about a few things that we've done so far. The first thing we've done is force the nice block on the mage, which is gonna get mass dispelled in a second here. And we've also forced a trinket on the rogue, so now he's a viable kill target because he has no trinket. We can hopefully catch him in a stun, uh, throw a smoke bomb over, I'll pop fiend and power infusion, and we can burst him down. Alright, so going back to real time, dispel the uh, ice block, and we're doing pretty good right now. I still have most of my major cooldowns, you can see I have trinket, uh, pain suppression, I have you know battle master, power infusion, everything. So right here, the mage pops mirror images, uh, hoping to drop himself off my focus, and then he's going to fake cast the polymorph, which I fall for it, and then I can't death the next one, so I'm going to go ahead and fear him. Trinkets the fear and gets a full polymorph on me. So you can see here, fakes the first one, I death it, fear the second one, and he gets the third one off. So that forces a trinket on the mage, and Nexar sees that I'm polymorphed, so he's going to drop a smoke bomb, and the mage is going to not be able to attack him, so he has to, you know, get closer. I see the second polymorph coming in, I death it, but uh, I guess I didn't time it right, so I'm going to be stuck in this. I get deep frozen, I'm going to go ahead and throw a paints up on uh, Nexar, and unfortunately this doesn't get its max use. But as of right now, we're doing extremely well, we still have, you know, some of our cooldowns, while the opposing team doesn't. So what Nexar is doing right here, is he's sapping the rogue, so the stun DR goes away. So the mage runs in, and this is a perfect opportunity for me to blow fear and get him off. So he's going to have no trinket, and this is where I'm going to go offensive. Nexar is going to cheap shot the rogue, uh, lay a smoke bomb over him, and I'm going to blow power infusion and shadow fiend and help him burst. So here's the fear on the mage, and now he's fleeing away, can't peel or anything. Nexar pulls a cheap shot right there, put fiend and pop power infusion, help him DPS, and by the time the mage is out of the fear, uh, it's too late to help his partner, and we're able to score a clean kill on that rogue. So that's the end of this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it, because I like making these breakdowns. It's pretty fun reviewing the match and uh, seeing you know exactly what each team did. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and even favorite the video if you would. Uh, that'd be fantastic. And if I could uh, see some love for you guys and get 400 thumbs up, that'd be awesome. And also, if you want to see some more content from me, uh, Rogue PvP, Disc Priest PvP, feel free to check out my channel at youtube.com slash selfserve. Um, if you like what you've seen there, you can subscribe, you'll be notified when I put out new videos. And there's also um, a Razor Naga giveaway video that I'm doing. So if you want to enter that contest, uh, it's a featured video on my channel. So if you can check that out, that'd be awesome. This has been Self Serve with TGN, and I'll catch you guys next time.